Hey guys, welcome back to the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. This time round is part two, going to be showcasing all the different characters that you can play as. Today's episode is all about the pea shooter. So, um, every character has a bit of a background. So, the pea shooter is always on the front line, fight against any zombie invasion. He likes to play things fast, loose, and frantic, adopting more of a run and gun mentality. When he sneezes, he's a danger to both himself and others around him. So, you can see down at the bottom there the pea cannon, you've got ammo, peas, impact splash, uh, reload is fast, use is mid range. The weapon upgrades and stuff that you can get are hyper plant food, which means that the reload time is decreased, extra peas, which gives ammo, ammo capacity, and the one I haven't unlocked, which is the super peas, which means the peas do more damage. So uh, what we're going to do is have a look at his abilities as well. We're going to go into the pea shooter, we're going to abilities. The pea gatling is basically, he digs into the ground, roots himself into place, and then deals more damage, but he's vulnerable to attack. So um, basically, you can kind of sit there like a gun turret and just shoot at people, which is quite cool. Now, um, Hyper, we do have a video for that, so we're going to watch the video for Hyper. There you go. It basically increases his movement speed, um, and he can jump extremely high when he's doing that. It's a limited time thing. While he's in Hyper, he can still use his normal attacks and stuff. Um, and then there's the Chili Bean Bomb, which is very cool. This actually attracts zombies, so um, if you've got like a horde of them coming at you in Garden Ops, you can just do something like that. There you go. Now, for the abilities, the upgrades for the abilities, you've got the P-Gatling and the Retro-Gatling. Now, the Retro-Gatling is a slower rate of fire, but it does do more damage. So it's one of those things that's a little bit more accurate, entirely up to you as to which one you want to use. I usually stick with the P-Gatling, to be honest. Then with Hyper as well, you've got the Super P-Jump. So basically, he's not quite as fast, but he can jump stupidly high. Um, again, I stick with the normal Hyper for that one. And then the upgrade, the Sombrero, Jean, uh, Sombrero Bean Bomb. Basically, uh, the fuse is a bit longer, so it works against sort of time. If you time it right, um, it does a much bigger explosion. I usually use this one because it's fairly effective. Um, so then, obviously, in appearance as well, you've got a whole bunch of stuff that you can unlock as well. Which um, I won't go into every single thing that you can do. Uh, there's just a huge amount of customization. I've gone for a bit of a kind of I don't know Mexican gang member type of look. I think really. With the chilies for hands. So uh, we're going to jump into some garden ops and we're going to just basically go blast, search for a game. All good. Ready. Oh, this is going to be one of those ones where they just sit there doing nothing. In fact, actually, let's leave. I'm going to create oh, I'm going to create a match for the purposes of this video. Um, invite only. Let's go. Just want a 10 second countdown. So yeah, I will show you in game as to how the pea shooter plays. Um, He's usually very good in garden ops. He's also pretty good in gardens and graveyards as well. He's a good kind of defender, like I say, mid-range attacks and stuff. Um, he could do with some support characters if the entire team is pea shooters, then it can be a bit difficult, but they are the most effective kind of gen generic uh, soldier shooter type character for the plants team. So um, he's a good one to get started with, to be honest. If you've not played Plants vs. Zombies before, then try the pea shooter first, because he's a very kind of general soldier type like I say so you won't need to worry about any kind of fancy moves and things like that effectively you can you've got a kind of super boost and what are basically just big grenades as well as being able to turn into a turret which are just kind of good skills to get going with so we're going to stick with a normal pea shooter on this one um, you can see like I say you can get the customization you can change his arms his hat his face uh, tattoo and stuff like that as well so come on crazy Dave go get some tacos I don't know, let's just do this one. So, uh, just to give you an example, there's the normal thing. Speed and jumping. I will plant this and then I'll go hyper and I'll show you as what happens. Hyper is Y. Oh no, no it's not. My bad. Hyper is RB. And there you go, you can see the speed and stuff. You can jump a lot higher. Whiz around quite fast. Uh, with regards to his actual gun, you can kind of see as to how that works. It's a fairly slow rate of fire, um, but it does have the splash damage and stuff as well, so. There, with the uh, upgrade, he's got 12 Ps. Just gonna have to wait and see where some zombies are coming from. When I know where they're coming from, I will show you the P Gatling as well. Over there, apparently. So, we're gonna perch on this end, get the P Gatling going, and there you go. You can see the P Gatling there in action. Much faster rate of fire. Uh, the thing to bear in mind with the P Gatling is that once you've started firing you have to wait for the ability to uh, reset itself. However, 
if you uh, oh, if you do it and if you hit P Gatling by mistake like I did earlier and you don't actually fire anything, then uh, you can just use it straight away again, basically. Okay, and finally the chili bean bomb. There we go. Chili bean bomb is left buffer. You see it will drop down there, all the zombies will go, oh my god, a bomb! Charge towards it. Boom. There you go. Somehow that guy survived. And there we are, that's his abilities in the game. You can see as to how he works really as part of the team. You can imagine he's the kind of mid-range guy going in and trying to get fairly close to the zombies. And as you can see, with the upgraded peas, you can pretty much just kill a regular zombie in one hit. So there we are, that is the pea shooter for Plants vs Zombies, that's his abilities, everything like that, um, how he works and things like that. So if you've got any questions about the pea shooter then give me a shout, put a comment below. If you like the video then give it a thumbs up, stick around and subscribe to the channel. There will be new videos every day for the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. So thanks for watching guys, take it easy.